Hey everybody, Carol here. I have my Boxy Charm here for July 2018. This is my first time doing a video, so bear with me. I'm not really good at it. I might not always look at the camera correctly, but just be kind. Give me a chance. I'm doing this for the first time, so we're just going to dive into it and see how this goes. But I have my Boxy Charm here. Let's open it and see what we got. Now, I've already seen spoilers all over the internet, so I know what most likely I will get in the box, but there were some different variations, they say. And just so you know, BoxyCharm is $21 a month, and you get four to five basically full size high end type products. Um, you might get kind of a drugstore level every once in a while, but most of the time it's high-end stuff. And this month's theme is road tripping. I wish I was road tripping, but we're not. So, alright, I'm kind of just glancing over some of the stuff. One item I am super excited that I got, but to be completely honest, this month's box was kind of like womp womp for me. Uh, for this month. It was probably the first box that I wasn't like super excited about getting. Some things I'm not going to open or touch or swatch because uh, I want to be able to keep it clean and safe for a giveaway. So I'll probably let you know as we go through it. So looking at the box. Okay. I see I got the palette and this other item I got is Dr. Brandt Needles No More No More Baggage Eye Depuffing Gel. I was super excited about receiving this. So this is kind of one of the variations I was hoping I get. I have uh, puffy, puffy eyes, bags, pretty often. That's usually my little eye issue. Not so much dark circles, but I like anything cooling or depuffing around the eyes. So, Dr. Brandt, and this retails, I think, for $42. Yep, MSRP is $42, so. Okay, so, next up is Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. Now, taupe is my shade, but eyebrow creams are not my game. But this is an eyebrow cream by Chella. MSRP is $26. Damn. Okay, so next up I got the Wander Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. MSRP is for $24. Okay, it has a little curved. I already got a swatch on my hand. But a little kind of curved brush. Smells like normal mascara, so it is a volume and curl mascara. Next up is Note, but this is a luminous silk compact blusher. Full size MSRP is eleven ninety nine, so you know that's like a drugstore type price for a blush. Nice packaging though, Ooh, really nice packaging. And the shade is called Desert Rose. Let's see. Ooh, it's not broken. Success. But this, I don't know if it's going to pick up the same on camera. It's kind of washing it out. But this is basically a coral. Kind of almost a terracotta coral kind of mix. Um, it looks really wearable and pretty. And looks like a blush I would totally wear. Kind of has like a rosy smell. It kind of reminds me of MAC Melba. If you know what that looks like, it's a blush I've used for years. So it's really similar to that. I'm not going to swatch it because this might go in a giveaway, but we'll see. So the last, this is the save the best for last, I guess. I'm going to say I already know this is going in a giveaway. And of course... Do I have any scissors? Let me try to grab some scissors. Main reason why I already know I want to put it in the giveaway is because 
at least the pictures, I haven't got to see it in person, honestly, this is me just now seeing it in person, but the pictures, it looks really similar to like uh, Urban Decay's Naked Heat. So I have that here, I already pre-pulled it out just in case, you know, I wanted to compare on film here to see if it's really, if they're really close. There was a lot of people saying, oh, it looks like Urban Decay Heat. But this palette is by Crown Pro. Ooh, a little messy. Yeah, it's definitely like Urban Decay's Naked Heat in a in a palette here. So how many shades we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten shades. I'm not gonna swatch it or touch it because it's going in a giveaway. Because if I'm gonna use shades that look like this. I'm gonna grab my naked heat. That's just the truth. Like, I know if I swatch this and play it, use it once, that's all what would happen. It'd just get used once, whether it was great quality or not. So well, I have no doubt that this would be just as great quality. But the truth is, you know, I paid like 50 bucks for this, so I'm gonna use it. For $30, it's by Crown. It's called the Fuego Eyeshadow Collection. And what's funny is this Urban Decay has a shade called in fuego right here so now if you kind of look at this urban decay palette you can see why I'm gonna put the crown one in a giveaway because it's like I think there's what 12 shades in here yeah 12 in here I'm gonna put this in a giveaway I'm gonna be nice I'm gonna put it in a giveaway Giveaways are fun. I'm like having so much fun doing giveaways. So, Boxy Charm is kind of cool because it helps me like some of the products that I don't think I'll use. I just kind of stash away in a box, and that's my giveaway pile. So, what do you guys think of this month's box? I'm kind of like, meh, you know. I am excited. I got this Dr. Brandt de puffing eye gel. This is the best thing I think in the box, and it was also the most expensive. So. Go figure. And I'm gonna try this mascara, this by Wonder Beauty. See if it's any good. I'm always, you know, I have certain core mascaras that I like, but I'm always looking for something new. This would go over this cello. I just have a feeling I'm not gonna use it. I just I kinda wanna try it just to try it, but I'm gonna be cool and put it in a giveaway because taupe is kind of like that universal shade for people. For most. You know, for most. And I'm kind of on the fence with this. I'm going to think about and stew on this one if I kind of want to try it. Because the color is very pretty. So I feel like it's a color like I would totally wear. But I also have MAC Melba. And if it looks as close as I think. So i got to pull that out. Find it and compare. But this definitely going in the giveaway box I have so if you guys are following me stay tuned don't worry if you haven't won a giveaway yet because I have probably like three or four more in my brain than I'm already like piling up and stocking up like a squirrel like have all these like piles of stuff I want to do so don't worry there are more chances to win so continue to follow me watch me on Instagram at beautybomb311 and I think I'm going to put this on YouTube, so we'll see. I don't know. If I post a link for YouTube, it'll be on YouTube. But I might just put it on my Instagram TV, too, and probably on my Facebook Beauty Mom channel. So that's my BoxyCharm, guys. Stay tuned for next month. I might go back if this doesn't work out really well. I might go back to just being behind the camera. We'll see. But... Thanks guys. Thanks for watching if you did. I love you if you watched and you support me. It means a lot to me because this is hard getting out here, you know. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.